So, 15th of June. Getting close to the solstice. Uh, still moving the sheep pretty much every day. They, they moved in here yesterday. It's, it's actually half past seven in the morning. Uh, it's a beautiful morning, as it has been for most of the last 30 days. We actually haven't had any rain other than a couple of little showers last weekend, which amounted to 1.25 mil, so barely anything. It all evaporated within a few hours um, since the 15th of May. So a whole 31 days without any rain, significantly. So having to water the sheep every day, um, they're filling that trough up three times a day when it's hot. And uh, I'm moving them every day anyway. You can see this is where they were yesterday, um, or have been since yesterday, and this is what they're going into. So the grass is, is starting to run a bit ahead, but there's still loads of uh, loads of clover, loads of lush grass down in. And I'm going to come behind and, and top this later. Ah, first horse fly of the day. The only thing about it being hot and dry. Anyway. They've done a pretty good job at cleaning this up just in, well, it's less than 24 hours. It'll probably be a couple hours before I come and move them. I'm uh, just passing through now, giving them some water, and then I'm going to go and move the pigs. And then I'll come back up here and, and top this and move them into the next bit. But yeah, you can see they've, uh, they're pretty heavily stocked in this bit. I haven't measured actually how big it is. I've just sort of done it by eye. So it's starting to warm up and they're starting to go to the hedges already. It's only half past seven. So yeah, just look how dry we are. Ah, I'm joking. Uh, this is just on a bit of hard ground uh, in the gateways here, which has got rubble, so there's only a thin layer of soil over the top. There's the rams. They've been a pain. They've been uh, relegated to the next field. They, the field they were in was right next to my sweet corn and they've, they've got in and helped themselves. And they haven't... I haven't done it any favours. Uh, so there we are. I wasn't going to film it, but I came and looked at it again. What a mess. There's probably, there was 70 plants there. I mean, I doubt there's 25 left. Uh, and what is left is not much there. They, they were nearly two foot high. Um, anyway, potatoes are looking pretty good. And the sweet potatoes, I did make a video about putting those in. Uh, and they're going pretty good. It's been perfect weather for the last month though, for sweet potatoes. Um, there's actually, I'm actually digging potatoes now already. Uh, and over here, luckily, this is my second batch. These weren't looking, well, the others were looking better than this. They, they've had a few. They've had a go at a few. But luckily I got here before they, uh, before they cleaned these out. So there's another 60 odd there. But yeah, they've done a bit of a job on them, haven't they? There's our silage. See the bales are squashed a little bit, but that's not too bad. That's fine. I was expecting that. That's a bag of biochar I got here. That's, uh, I'll be feeding that to the sheep and chickens and pigs. There's the pigs. <coughs> so it's pig moving day today, and uh, they they've only got oh, less than less than a month now, but. I think it's four weeks till the first carnival. So the biggest two will be going for that. And I weighed them last week and uh, hopefully they'll... Well, it's a bit tricky trying to get them in, but some of them will go in. Oh, well done. I did put a little bit of barley in there. So I weighed them last week and they're 52 to 58 kilos. So that one's 57 now, which is about 126 pounds, something like that. And I don't think, I hope that's not the biggest one, the biggest one was 58 last week. I think, I think she's the biggest one. Anyway, I haven't got a lot of storage now, so I can't video it all. Yeah, so I've weighed them all and they have put on a bit. I mean, it's been really hot. They haven't put on as much as I'd hoped. I think the lightest one's now 55, so that isn't too bad. Um, about three kilos. Uh, this is where they were last week. And you can see red clovers regrowing there. I only topped that on Monday, Thursday now. That's where the fence is, one single strand. And then this is where they've been. They are finally starting to eat grass. Obviously, they're not eating docks, which is a bit of a... Well, it's a bit of a pain, but I'll come in here and top this. They haven't dug it at all, so it's all level. But you can see, uh, 
So they've eaten all the clover, they've eaten all the chicory, there's loads of chicory and red clover. I'll just show you what it looks like. This is where they're gonna be going, see? Just one strand. I'm gonna move that bottom fence and put it up above this in a minute. And uh, you can see the chicory, look, it's chicory. Oh, that must be eight foot high. The docks are about five foot and the rye grass is up five foot as well nearly. And uh, loads of clover. Uh, Give them a fairly, fairly decent sized piece for a week. Uh, anyway, hopefully they'll put on a bit more in the next, they got just over three weeks, two of them. And, and then two weeks more for the next one and then the other two will go on a bit longer for uh, bigger ones for sausages and stuff. So, all right, I can get this fence moved and then I'll, I'll show you what that looks like. This is where I'm gonna put the fence. I've just run through with the telehandler uh, between the cereal rye, which is all six foot high at least some of it's way taller than me actually up there um i've just run along with the handler and made a wheel track and this is where i'm going to put the put the fence and this is where the pigs are going to be and just all you can see is just the chicory run into countryside flowering yet but it's it's going up but they'll knock all that down you can see how much red clover and rye grass is in there as well and they got a, they'll, they got seven days to, to eat all this patch here and then i'm not quite sure what i'm going to do with the rye I've, I've got a bit down here which I'm going to let them have and just see if, how they do. I might have to just either cut it and feed it to them or come in and roll it and feed it to them. I'm not sure if they'll eat it. But, well, I've not done that before. But we'll have a look. Okay, so all I've done is wound back the fence on this one short stretch here. About six metres, that's all. Now, obviously the fence has been there and they've been here a week so they don't, they're going to be a bit wary. Uh, it's actually not switched on at the moment, but they don't know that. Uh, and the wire's gone, so they'll take a minute or two to get through. Um, but I have, uh, I have actually, a couple of months ago, sprayed up the, the fence line. And uh, that's what they normally do. They normally just run up there. But I'm not in any rush to, to get them through, so I'll just leave it like that for a minute and they'll, they'll find their own way through. I'll get some water, put in a trough. And, uh, come on, girl. You as well. They've already found that the fence is down, but um, they're eating and then, and then they'll run off into it in a minute. But yeah, it's all fairly straightforward. They're past the fence now. Um, and I didn't have any problems with them coming back again like I did before. Like I said, these pigs weren't born on this farm, which is unusual for me. Uh, I've got rid of my breeding sow. There we go. And the ark is just there. So, uh, the, and the troughs, water troughs right in front of it. Uh, she's, she can't get by there, even though the fence is not on, she won't touch it. So uh, there we go, they're all through, simple as that. Yep, so I've just got some water, that's it, and then I'm here. And uh, I put the arc and, uh, and the water in the same configuration as it was down there. And so hopefully they just home straight to here. They're not going to try and go back down through the fence to get back where they were before. And I'm going to come up with a topper and, and top that off in a minute. There's three here, and the other two are. There's one. I'm not sure where the other one is, but she'll come back, I'm sure. So, here we go. First thing they go for chicory. Chicory over the clover. But they will eat the clover as well. And then the grass is sort of the last thing, but they'll find their way through. I mean, this chicory is just massive, but they'll. They'll pull it down and eat all the stems and all the leaves and everything. And this ground's too dry for them to dig now. So they can't dig it. Even though they were fantastic diggers all winter. They haven't dug at all in the last two or three weeks. Yeah. Okay, so it's just gone nine o'clock now. I've put the fence up, I don't know if you can see it over there. I used to track with a maker wheel track. And um, I've just picked up the wire and the sheep all know that I'm going to move them. Um, I've got the strand about a foot above the ground so I did have lambs going under and I've just seen two lambs that were over and they jumped back over it. So two lambs out of a hundred, it's not too bad but you don't want to get too many more than that. 
Oh, I haven't even got a call in today. Come on, girls. Yep, 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 yep. There we go. So they know what they're doing. I'm doing this pretty much every day. And the lambs have got to train them, but yeah. So it's the first time I've had one strand with baby lambs like this. I normally run two strands until they're a bit bigger. Uh, if I've got two jumping, I can cope with it. Uh, one is a ewe lamb, but uh, you know, I'll just pull them out and get rid of them if, when I wean them. But uh, I'll just have to uh, keep an eye on it. Uh, maybe I'll put this, put it higher again now. Um, now they've got a bit bigger. Put it in the next notch up. But anyway, that's something I keep an eye on, but it's certainly a lot easier with one strand than two. A lot easier. Anyway, there's this, this patch for a day. I'm going to top that now. Put the wire the other side of the water. Keep it there. And just move the wire the other side. Right, I'll get on and do that. Whew, it is a warm day, but yeah, don't complain because it it's going to rain, forecast anyway, to rain all day, every day next week. Which, you know, had to happen at some point, didn't it? Can't go on for a uh, horse flies. Uh, lost track of the score, but uh, I think they're winning. Well, they are winning today for sure. That's a, I wouldn't miss a horse fly.